Hi, I'm David Lok. I'm a commercial lifestyle photographer. I'm on this project called Maxis Endangered Malaysians. Hi, I'm Nana Safiana, independent documentary photographer. Most of my work focusing on social issues. My name is Kenny Lo. I'm a professional photographer. For the past 10 years, I've been involved in documenting Malaysians. When I was approached by Maxis to take portraits of animals, it's uh, something that was quite uh, new to me because my subjects are usually humans. Right now, I'm with Mr. Sanjit. I'm pretty sure that you have some expectations. Of course, yeah, and yeah wanting to look for yeah. some wildlife species and yeah. things like that. Now I'm about to experience working on Maxis Endangered Malaysians project to photograph some elephants. Up here, I've only seen them in the zoo, but to see them up close, that would be amazing. There was a report of some sighting recently. Hopefully, we'll be able to see some uh, tigers there. Hello. Cheers, Wai Mi. Sehat lah. Kita nak datang ni. Nak gambarkan gambar harimau? Oh. Ada harimau? Hmm, dulu ada. Jadian dan jumpa? Oh, dah. Susah, susah. Tak apa, kita cuba try. Ikut nasib baik lah. <laughs> so, we are actually entering the park area right now. But this area you've seen uh, tapir before? Yes, we are taking you now. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I've met the, the ranger Farouk and he's going to be taking me around to look for the tapir. So, yeah, yeah. this is pretty much a good spot around that area where we might have chances to photograph some images of elephants. Yes, you never know what time the elephants will come out or will they come out at all. Mm -hmm. So it's always best to be prepared. It seems that we will have to trek for one, two hours into the forest. The trek here is just rich. It's not that easy to walk. It can be quite taxing on the knee. It's very humid, so I'm sweating like crazy. But I think it's worth it. I'm confident we will see it. Sudah sampai ni bumbu ini ni. Yang tu ke atas sana tempat untuk nak lihat binatang semua. Lepas tu kat depan sana dia ada mineral salt lake. We have arrived on the, at the boom boom after how, how many hours? Two, three hours? Two hours. It seemed like a long time. I'm really looking forward to setting up my camera traps. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are very quietly walking towards the salt lake. Somebody was telling me, hmm. when you walk, you should have one kind of a rhythm. Oh, 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 shit. That's our height. So from there, so that is our solid area. This is a Huawei P20 Pro. It has a motion detector loaded onto the phone. One of the reasons why I'm working with the Huawei P20 Pro is because of its 40 megapixel camera. Anything that crosses the device will capture some images and it goes to the drive. It might be a fun thing to keep an eye on our emails tonight. Once again, we need a lot of luck here. Okay, I think so. So unpredictable. Uh, Bang Su Haimi just said, told me that, uh, towards that uh, there's a tiger footprint. Oh. There's our tiger footprint nearby. Wait, wait. This is the water. There's 20 more people. They're going to go to the sea. Maybe they're going to go to the sea. They're going to go to the sea. They will set up the, uh, the phone here to detect. So hopefully that we can capture something from here. There's a bush here. What is this? Oh, there's a tree. Ah, there's a tree. There's a tree. Let's set up one. So let's set up one. It's been a long day, uh, but we've managed to set up a couple of cameras. We're hopeful that we'll be able to get some images of uh, tapirs. Wildlife photography challenges, you know, the weather, the environment, uh, the waiting game, and it's so much more different than what I do. Now we are at the height. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get something. Biasa pukul berapa yang harimau dia orang keluar? Oh, ni baru pukul dua, biasa malam je lah. Itu sekarang tak ada can lah. Ya, ya, kita tunggu lah. Okey, mari kita minum sekejap. So, it's 5 a.m. now. And it's still raining outside heavily. Let's see how the situation is really. Oh, oh my god, it's pouring. Belum ada lagi signal yang animal crossing dia. Tapi... Boleh dengar dia suara itu biasa, tapi tak ada gambar lagi. Things have changed, but I'm not keeping up. Hopefully, the motion detector from the phone can give me something. Tak ada, tak ada. Abu pun tak ada. Ah, we went through a lot of shots. Some insects fly by, some leaves. Not even one single animal. Pretty much blank. Until now. We have still not been successful in capturing anything. Actually, I'm quite worried. Guys, I don't know if we're going to be able to photograph any animals this time. Expectation, I thought we can come in and just 
can get some shots of the tiger quite easily. But this is not the case. Yeah, this is not as easy as we think. It's a tough, it's a tough situation. We just found a snare. This is terrible. This is terrible. One thing that made me feel very sensitive is because I'm aware that they don't have voices. They couldn't express their desire, their needs and all that. And we being selfish by consume things that we don't need from them. These animals are living peacefully in the forest. And why should we? Why should we harm them? They are in their house and we are here snaring them, trapping them. We are worse than robbers. We are murderers. But a bigger re realization was born in Malaysia is not just about the people of Malaysia. It's about the animals who have every right to be here and who are just as Malaysian as we are. I'm glad actually I failed in this assignment. And this goes to show there are a huge decreased number of them in the jungle. This is our tanggung jawab as riot. And if we as Malaysians cannot take care of them, who will?